all right i am of the opinion that everyone should understand some of the basic uh, things pertaining to our health now cholesterol that's what i'm going to talk about today is one of those things that everybody is concerned about and everybody wants to make sure that the cholesterol levels are too not too high and the reason is obviously because high cholesterol levels are associated with a lot of different diseases like the heart disease like high blood pressure like stroke so let's today let's try and understand what is cholesterol why do we need it how does the body produce it and uh, what are the two different types of cholesterol that can be tested using a blood test and what, what do they tell you what is their role so just they'll just offer you a basic understanding of what cholesterol is and then uh, we'll go on and look at some other aspects in the next video all right so cholesterol what where does cholesterol come in the body now you'll be surprised to hear this our liver produces cholesterol so uh, I don't know if it was a surprise for all of you but for those of you uh, who didn't know this every animal produces its own cholesterol so if a body produces cholesterol that means the body needs cholesterol it has use for it so it's not a villain it, it, it can be a villain but uh, and we'll talk about that a little later but first of all, the liver produces cholesterol because the body needs it. It's a very important molecule. What does it do? It does three things. Cholesterol is important if you want to produce hormones. If the body wants to produce hormones, it needs cholesterol. Now, hormones, what are hormones? Hormones are a good example is testosterone. You know, athletes know this. Uh, you must have heard this in relation to sports, to Olympics, uh, in relation to Olympics, in relation with performance and so on so testosterone is very well known estrogen is a female hormone and that's also very important it's very well known so for, to produce these hormones the body needs raw material and cholesterol is one of the raw materials important function right vitamin d another important hormone critical for several different functions in the body also requires cholesterol to produce vitamin d so we talked about vitamin d we talked about hormones the third thing is digestion digestion in the process of digestion cholesterol has an important role to play so body needs cholesterol for these three things so the body makes it liver is our factory for making cholesterol every animal makes enough cholesterol it makes as much cholesterol as is required for the body now so we've clear clarified liver makes it and the reason why it makes it so the next thing we want to know is how do we test cholesterol levels so now we establish that cholesterol is important. If it's important, then that cholesterol, once it's produced in the liver, needs to be supplied to different cells, right? If you produce, if a farmer produces uh, potatoes, for example, the next thing that happens is that potatoes need to be distributed to the homes of people who eat them, so or who need them. So the cholesterol, same thing. The body needs to send that cholesterol to different cells, and the best way to do that is through blood. So but cholesterol by itself cannot be transported as is it needs to be converted into something called as lipoprotein lipo fat protein protein so that's a combination of these two molecules that's the best way to ship items it's like you know you box things you tape them up you put a label on it and you ship it so that's how the body does it packages it so that it can be shipped in with convenience so ldl or low density lipoprotein is the kind of lipoprotein that the body uh, packages in order to transport the cholesterol to different cells all right so that's ldl the second type of cholesterol is hdl or high density lipoprotein so this cholesterol it's called a good cholesterol because this is the cholesterol uh, molecule that uh, the, that takes all the excess cholesterol from the body and it pulls it back into the liver all right so one cholesterol is the bad cholesterol it the higher values means that the body is producing more cholesterol it's going to different kinds of cells and the, it's called bad because then it can this low density lipoprotein can create problems in blood vessels for example because there are small molecules they get damaged they can cause inflammation and so on so that's why it's the bad cholesterol you want to keep that level low and high density lipoprotein is the kind of cholesterol that gathers up all the bad cholesterol and brings it back to liver for for clearing so that's what it is so i hope this video helps you to understand some of the basics of cholesterol and uh, what does it do where does it 
come from what is it made how does it what form is it transported to the body next video we'll talk a little bit about what are the problems with cholesterol have a good night bye